Hello there guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, today's video, I'll just be going through my favourite five Blu-ray pickups from the month of June 2019. Uh, no media books today, this will be all about the best of the rest of what I managed to grab from the month of June. And it's been a pretty awesome month as well, some great stuff coming out, uh, in particular in the UK. So, this video will be dominated by UK editions, uh, bar one, which I think I'll kick the video off with actually. So, in no particular order, the first of my top five is uh, this sleazy little gem. This is uh, the New York Ripper, uh, the new 4K restoration release by Blue Underground. And it was absolutely worth the wait. I watched it last night and the picture quality is stunning. It looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, the best it's ever looked. Uh, so I had no problem double dipping on this one. And uh, it's one of my favourite Fortune films. It's just absolutely unashamedly sleazy and depraved and it revels in all of its sleaze it's, it just oozes sleaze it really does it's got some really graphic murders uh, sexual deviancy and it's all set in the uh, CD underbelly of New York so it's got that gritty dirty look to it all it's just a dirty little film but you just you don't get films of this type anymore um, so yeah absolutely brilliant really pleased to have it and it's a lovely little set as well it's a free disc edition you get a nice uh, 3D cover there with new artwork from Enzo Schiotti, who I've mentioned before, he does some great media book covers. So it's nice to see other labels using his talents. There's the back there, it looks like it ports over all the previous uh, special features from other Blue Underground releases. Um, so it's going to be nice to go into those, because I don't have any of these special features by the looks of it. And it's region free. There's the uh, alternate artwork on the inside, one of the uh, vintage posters. Uh, there's your Blu-ray disc and your DVD and a, uh, a nice little booklet has been included and there's a CD soundtrack Get a quick look through the book always like the, uh, the inclusion of booklets, I always do read them very nice so there you have it guys the uh, new 4K restoration of New York Ripper Gets uh, two thumbs up from me, absolutely love it. So there you go. Right, moving on, we have a bit of Arrow Video, and this is one of their recent box sets that they've put out. I've seen a few guys pick this one up as well. This is the uh, American Horror Project Volume 2, and it's uh, been a long time coming. Uh, their, their, their first volume of this uh, series came out oh, oh, nearly four years ago, um, but they're back finally with a new volume. They've dug up uh, three obscure 70s American movies uh, that they've decided to give attention to. And um, I have watched a couple of these, uh, Dark August and The Child. The Child is fantastic. And yeah, uh, despite the obscure backgrounds of these films, they've compiled a nice array of special features for each one. Another excellent job from Arrow Video, as you'd expect. A quick look at each of the films. So they had the child, uh, definitely the pick of the bunch. Uh, a brilliant little film. It's uh, it's a bit of a slow burn and a bit strange, but it's got a really effective uh, nightmarish atmosphere. It's very creepy in places. It's got some creepy looking zombie demon things. Uh, a bit of moderate gore as well, and it's just uh, yeah had a real good time with this one. It's been released on DVD in the UK. Uh, so this one's from 1977. Then you have Dream No Evil, which I haven't seen yet, but the artwork looks promising. Hoping for a good gory slasher of, or something of that type. That's from 1971. Here we have Dark August. Unfortunately, this was a bit of a non-event. Uh, no, nothing much of interest going on in this one. Uh, it's nice enough shot. Uh, it's got some. It's all filmed in Vermont, so it's got some nice scenery. They just forgot to add any kind of type of scares or anything of a, a horrific nature, actually. Which is a real disappointment because the setup's pretty good and it's got some really awesome cover art here. But it's just it's def definitely one of those that's uh, forgettable. It doesn't linger in the mind for too long. So yeah, a bit of a mixed bag with the films, but I've still got one to watch. Hopefully that one delivers. And of course you also get a nice booklet with a nice write-up on each film. The history of the productions and about the restoration. So there you go, another solid looking box set from Arrow Video, well worth grabbing if you've got the uh, Volume 2 on the shelf and you want to add some more obscure 70s stuff to the collection, 
don't miss out on this one. Right, next up, we have a British movie, one of my favourite British movies actually. And it's been given an absolutely brilliant uh, release from Indicator, and that's Scum from 1979, the uh, 40th anniversary edition. And it's an um, excellent film, it's, it's very depressing though, it won't be for everybody. It's uh, not one to throw on if you're looking to boost your mood and perk you up a bit. Because it's just, it's, just, it's just a downbeat, um, bleak look inside the uh, Young Offenders Borstal from uh, 1970s England. Uh, Borstals are Young Offenders prisons. And uh, a lot of unpleasant stuff used to go on in these places and to some extent still do. So it's like a fly on the wall look at the life inside behind the bars. Um, lots of violence, self-harm and suicide. Uh, rape and unpleasant language. It's just uh, effectively made, it's brilliant. So um, really happy it's been given this kind of treatment from Indicator. I don't buy everything from Indicator. Not all of the films that they put out really appealed to me, but this one definitely did. It's a genuine favourite of mine. And it's uh, given a, a huge amount of special features, which are going to be great to look through. It's going to be great to see what the uh, cast and the crew are up to nowadays. Just to reacquaint ourselves with the uh, actors and uh, yeah, hear their thoughts on the film. Yeah, just zooming for those of you who want to quick browse through all that. I think the only thing that tarnishes this release um, is the uh, the lack of inclusion of the original BBC movie from 19, 1977. Yeah, it came out a couple of years before this. It was only broadcast on TV once, the uh, the TV version, and it was banned for, by the BBC. Uh, but once it was banned, uh, the makers went out and they made a theatrical release of the film, so it got a wider audience. But it would have been nice to have the um, 1977 original on Blu-ray, but I have it on DVD somewhere. Because it does differ slightly to the uh, theatrical cut of the film. And the uh, set is limited to um, 8,000. The uh, the initial print run was about... When it was announced, it was, a, I think, a four, three or 4,000. But due to the high demand, they increased the limitation to 8,000. So it does have a lot of um, admirers out there, and rightly so. Let's get a quick look on the inside. There's some vintage poster art there, and on the inside it's got some really nice old artwork. It does have a really nice uh, big size poster, but it's just too big to unfurl on camera. And the book does look a genuinely interesting read. Can't wait to go through all this. It just goes you through the controversy the film caused. Uh, wow, awesome old uh, posters there from various countries. Yeah, there's some newspaper clippings of the controversy it caused. People wanted it banned. So, yeah. Lovely set. Really is cool to have. Uh, got a good British cast. Ray Winston, Phil Daniels, uh, Mick Ford, Julian Firth. And you also get um, the guy that played Uncle Frank from the Hellraiser movies. He's in this one. He's probably in the most unpleasant scene in the whole film. So, another memorable appearance in the film by that guy. I forgot his name, sorry. Uh, but anyway, that's Scum from 1979. Right, moving on. We have a uh, a John Woo double feature from uh, Eureka. This is uh, The Last Hurrah for Chivalry and Hand of Death, a couple of martial arts movies. And these were made by John Woo before we got into the whole Hong Kong gangster type of thing with Chow Yun Fat. And so there's not a bullet or a gun in sight in these movies, but it's uh, very entertaining these two are. Uh, lots of hand-to-hand -hand martial arts. Last Hurrah for Chivalry is all about the uh, sword play. Some really good um, action in that one with the uh, sword fighting. Lots of blood. Uh, Hand of Death um, from 1976 uh, contains... Uh, well, it features a young appearance from Jackie Chan and also Sammo Hung, who wears some hilariously ridiculous false teeth in the film. Uh, John Woo also features in Hand of Death in a small cameo towards the end. Uh, Last Hurrah for Chivalry, come out in 1979, I think. But yeah, and both look, films look fantastic. Uh, great picture quality on these from Eureka. Let's do a look on the inside. I would have preferred two Amaray cases in a little box, like the Police Story box set, but um, that's okay. So here's the uh, Last Hurrah for Chivalry artwork. And the rundown of the special features, not too much. 
but um, they're not very widely known films actually these two but well worth having if you're into your martial arts there's the uh, hand of death artwork there and you also get a booklet there's John Rue the man I'm a bit of a John Rue fan um, I really would like his other stuff to come out on Blu-ray though, like the Bed of Tomorrow trilogy, The Killer, Hard Boiled, and films of those types. There's Last Rock of Chivalry, some bloody swordplay going on there. Awesome. Really pleased to have these two in the collection. So there you have it. The new John Rue feature, double feature, Last Hurrah for Chivalry, and Hand of Death. Right, and last up, something completely different, but absolutely brilliant. It is the uh, Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the uh, DC animated crossover movie. I um, was a big Turtles fan back in the day as a kid, and Batman is, is my favourite superhero, so to see this crossover is uh, really interesting. There's a real clash of personalities in this one, but it's really interesting. There's some good action in this one, actually. You have Shredder and these foot soldiers invading Gotham City, uh, stealing items of Wayne Tech, and they're being pursued by the Turtles. And uh, Batman just gets... He gets curious and um, suspicious of everybody, so it makes for some interesting showdowns. Uh, Batman has a great fight with um, the Shredder. He also has a great little funny fight with the uh, Turtles. Uh, they, they eventually become allies and work together against Shredder. But it's uh, like I said, some real clash of personalities, and you also got the Joker and Harley Quinn in this one, uh, Penguin, uh, Robin, so a huge array of um, characters from the world of DC. I would have liked to have seen Splinter and um, Bebop and Rocksteady appear from the Turtles universe, but um, maybe in a sequel because it was really entertaining. Um, it's still, it's still a bit too violent for the young kids. Uh, DC animated movies are a bit darker in tone, um, so it does have its bloody moments at times. So it's not one for the kids, I would say. But um, there are some funny moments, especially from Michelangelo. He has some funny lines of dialogue in this one. So yeah, this is the uh, new uh, UK Steelbook. I'm not sure if it was exclusive to any particular store, but um, it appears to be sold out from most places. It's a lo lovely, nice, glossy Steelbook. And I do collect these uh, DC animated movies. I just found them uh, a bit more entertaining than the actual films. That we've been uh, that we've been served up recently, but yeah, lovely uh, little film this one, very entertaining. Uh, it's got a bit of light-hearted moments, but um, I wouldn't say it's one for the younger kids. So yeah, there you have uh, Batman versus the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that is it for my favourite five of this month of June. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've seen any of, any of these movies or if you have any questions regarding these particular releases, just uh, send me a, a message down below or on Facebook if you know me. Uh, so until the next video guys, you enjoy the rest of your weekend, take care, bye for now.